determine all sets of non-negative integers x, y, z, which satisfy the equation 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of y equals z squared if y equals 0, then 3 to the power of y is congruent to 1 mod 3. And if y doesn't equal 0, then 3 to the power of y is congruent to 0 mod 3. Case 1 y equals zero, equation one becomes two to the power of x plus one equals z squared. Clearly, z is odd. Let z equal two n plus one, where n is a non-negative integer from equation 2, we have 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. 1 on the left hand side and 1 on the right hand side cancel 4n squared plus 4n can be factorized and we have 4n times n plus 1. So 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals n times n plus 1. Equation 3 holds true if and only if n equals 1. So x equals 3, z equals 2n plus 1 equals 3. Alternatively, we can use Catalan's conjecture or Nihilescu's theorem to solve equation 2. Catalan's conjecture, the only solution in the natural numbers of u to the power of a minus b to the power of b equals 1 for a b greater than 1, u b greater than 0 is u equals 3, a equals 2, b equals 2, b equals 3. The conjecture was proposed by Catalan in 1844 and proved by Michalescu in 2002. By rearranging equation 2, we have z squared minus 2 to the power of x equals 1. On Michalescu's theorem, the only solution of equation 4, and therefore equation 2 for x greater than 1 is z equals x equals 3. For x equals 0, 1 equation 4 has no non-negative integer solutions. So for y equals 0, equation 1 has a solution. x, y, z equals 3, 0, 3. Case 2, y doesn't equal 0. 
So 3 to the power of y is congruent to 1 mod 3. From equation 1, we know that 2 to the power of x is congruent to z squared mod 3. Because z is a non-negative integer, so z squared is congruent to 0 or 1 mod 3. So 2 to the power of x is congruent to 0 or 1 mod 3. So x must be even. Let x equal 2k, where k is a non-negative integer. Equation 1 becomes 2 to the power of 2k plus 3 to the power of y equals z squared. So 3 to the power of y equals z squared minus 2 to the power of 2k, which is a difference of 2 squares and can be written as z plus 2 to the power of k times z minus 2 to the power of k. Because the left-hand side of the equation is 3 to the power of y. So by the unique factorization theorem, both z plus 2 to the power of k and z minus 2 to the power of k are powers of 3. Let z plus 2 to the power of k equal 3 to the power of t and z minus 2 to the power of k equal 3 to the power of s. t and s are non-negative integers. s is less than t. Equation 5 minus equation 6. We have 2 to the power of k plus 1 equals 3 to the power of t minus 3 to the power of s, which can be written as 3 to the power of s times 3 to the power of t minus s minus 1. By the unique factorization theorem, both 3 to the power of s and 3 to the power of t minus s minus 1 are powers of 2. This is true if and only if 3 to the power of s equals 2 to the power of 0 and 3 to the power of t minus s minus 1 equals 2 to the power of k plus 1. So s equals 0 and 3 to the power of t minus 1 equals 2 to the power of k plus 1. By Michalaskou's theorem, the only solution of equation 7 the t is greater than 1 and k is greater than 0 is t equals 2, k equals 2. In addition, equation 7 also has a solution t equals 1, k equals 0, the t equals 2, k equals 2, x equals 2k equals 4, z equals 3 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of k 
equals three squared minus two squared equals five. From equation one, three to the power of y equals dead squared minus two to the power of x equals five squared minus two to the power of four, which is nine. So y equals two. 40 equals one, k equals zero, x equals two k equals zero, z equals three to the power of t minus two to the power of k equals three to the power of one minus two to the power of zero, which is two. From equation one, three to the power of y equals z squared minus two to the power of x equals two squared minus two to the power of zero, which is three. So y equals one. So for y doesn't equal zero, equation one has two sets of solutions, x, y, z equals four to five. Zero, one, two. In total, equation one has three sets of solutions x, y, z equals three, zero, three, four, two, five, zero, one, two. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for notification of new videos. See you next time.